Hi there, once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how we can create a handwriting animation in PowerPoint. So, this is what we're going to do. Let's preview this and see how this is going to play. So, I click on preview and you can see the hand is basically going to animate and to write every text that we put on this particular slide. So, consider subscribing if today is your first time and don't forget to turn on post notification if today is your first time visiting my channel. And also leave a comment on the comment section and let me know at the comment section if you have subscribed to my YouTube channel. So without further explanation or any other issues, let's go ahead and see how to basically do this animation step by step. So let's jump into action. <laughs> So let me just do this on a blank new page. So let me just type the text I want to use. I'll delete one of these text boxes and just type animate, animation. So I'll type animation. I want to use a different font. So I'll use a font called Sego Print. I'm using this font because it's, I'm using this font because it looks like a a handwriting text so i'll change this to the maximum i have over that's 96 and that is okay i want to animate this text and i'm going to animation from my main tab and click on what fade we are using fade for now and what we want to do is that just go to animation pane over here and we want to do some few adjustments to that so this text is going to basically animate at 0.5 and it's going to do everything at once but we want it to be animated one after the other if i click on preview over here you can see everything will be animated once i want it to be going a letter after letter so click on this small icon from the animation pan and go to our effect option click on that and basically what we want to do is to go to the animate text if you go to animate text we have all at once we want to change it to what by letter so this will make it animate one after the other and the delay between letters is going to be 100 percent we want it to go just after each other so it's going to be 100 percent let's click on ok and you see how this is going to display and basically that is what i want to do up to this stage now we want to get a hand text okay we want to get a hand image holding the pen and you can get that from online so i downloaded this online a hand holding a pen I downloaded it and that is what I'm using. So I'll go back here and go to basically want to place this. So go to insert, go to your pictures and then speak that from your device. And this in this case is my computer. I'll select that and insert this. I just want to resize this. Yes, I just want to go ahead and then resize this. So select this and then resize it so you are comfortable with what you are working with. I just want to zoom in on this a bit and i think i'm okay now we want to also animate this hand so click on the hand and we go to animation and this tomorrow we're going to use a custom path so click over here the animation option there are several options click and then select for custom path i'll do that and now what we're going to do we're going to trace this text the animation text we have over here so click and then start with tracing it You may not get it perfect, but make sure you pass on top where you want your hand to trace. So just do that. Don't worry about how perfect it's going to be. So let's just see. We want it to look like this. Okay, so I'm just tracing everything here. And if you are done tracing, just double click and you can see how the hand is going to move. That's okay. Once it's done, it's going to give you a preview about the position, the starting and then the ending of this hand. And you can see where it's going to start from. It's going to give you like a faded version of that hand. We can do the adjustment a bit to that and probably I want to drag this down. I want the hand to come down a bit and I can click on the picture. That is the picture from my right hand side, the pan animation panel and then I can see how this is going to be I can keep dragging this to make sure this is going to start from the right path okay I want to start from the right path over here you can click on preview to see how this is going to be like okay 
see preview of what this is going to look like now we want to actually go ahead and then animate this so we do the same thing while we click on the small icon again the triangle here and we'll go to the effect option click on the effect option and we want to basically change the smooth start and then the smooth end we want to change it to zero and click on what okay okay so you can see how this is moving we are still not done let's select this and we want to actually change this if you click on your animation the text we are using 0 0.5 for that and we are having nine characters so the latest we have over here we have up to nine count the animation so we want to do that times what the 0 0.5 times nine for the hand each one represents a letter over here so instead of the 0 0.2 it should be what 4.5 So we set this to 4.5 and then start we're going to change it to previous so it's going to move alongside what our animation so the hand will go while the animation follows let's do this and see what it's going to be so you see the animation will finish before the hand will follow that is not what we want we want all to go at a goal. we want all to move at the same time so let's do that we select the hand and we go to the start and we change it to what previous so with previous so we select that with previous and let's play this again and see so I'll preview this you can see how movement this is going to do it's going to write the text so it's going to be everything about the position of your hand so let's select this and it will depend just do adjustment to this and it should be good to go so we probably we need to drag this for a bit and let's make sure the hand is starting right on the text okay, so that will make it perfect so let's try that let's do the adjustments let's preview this again and see say this is quite better and say this is quite better and this is well animated you can continue playing around this and you should be getting something smoother and depending on how best you do your adjustment so just click on that and then you see the starting point this is going to be quite better like subscribe for more videos i want to share a lot of tips and tricks right here on this channel so you don't need to miss that share this video with friends like and then also comment so click on this again and you can see this is far far even better so you've been able to animate a simple text using just code text just using what powerpoint okay so like subscribe for more if you enjoy what i do let me know in the comment section and don't forget to turn on post notification for more videos until i come your way again bye bye